This week's one-on-one -on -one conversation is with Idaloo Wildcats head football coach Jeff Lofton. Coach, thanks for joining us this week, man. Hey, no problem. Thank you guys for coming out. You ended up beating New Deal 28-14. Probably could have been worse than that. What was working for the Wildcats to, to beat a good team like New Deal? Their kids are, are big and strong. They got big running backs who are physical, and they have a lot of speed. Obviously, they always are are in the top rankings in state and track. I was very impressed on how our offensive line was firing out, getting movement on guys who, some of them 70, 80 pounds bigger than what we are. Uh, but that's just the fight of our kids. Um, our, 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 our kids have a lot of heart and our, our backs are gonna run hard and fall forward. You're gonna get good competition from, from teams, even though they're a 2A Division I, who could compete well compete well at the 3A level. You, know, you guys are ranked number 10, you beat New Deal, you're still ranked 10th. Does it feel like this Idaloo team's getting overlooked this year? I don't care about that. You know, I really don't. I don't care about a ranking until it's the end of the season. I'm happy as long as we can get in there and, and learn from our wins and our losses. We get in after a big win, we're gonna find a lot of a lot of things we need to fix on film on Saturday, and we're gonna work on those things throughout the week. I know, you know, we talked about it, Coach Taylor getting added to the scoreboard. The last 11-man state champion was here in Idaloo back in 2010. What does this tradition mean to you being the head man here and just all that Idaloo has been able to accomplish over the years? There are not a whole lot of words I can say to to explain to you guys what the tradition's like. So I got a bunch of staff members, a bunch of coaches on my staff that, that do a great job for me and a lot of those guys are ex-players. Uh, we're trying to carry on all that stuff we learned from them and then add our own flavor to it. But this community and this school is top notch and we, I can't say enough about it.